going on everybody it's titanic feet jack and i'm back at you again it's the end of the year and i'm bringing you my top 15 countdown of the sneakers that i picked up during this year but before we get into it i need a couple things from you guys i need you to hit that like button on today's video also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with another video and sub up to the channel if you haven't already uh, this year we had some highs and lows with sneakers. A lot of us took L's. A lot of us took some retail accounts, and for the most part, a lot of sneakers actually sat. So if you guys wanted to get your hands on them, you actually could. Now, uh, my countdown probably won't be the same as most people, which is a great thing, you know. My countdown will be unique to the sneakers that I like the most that I picked up and added to my collection this year. Uh, and it's going to be several different uh, models of sneakers. I have some other sneakers on the way that probably would have made the countdown, but they're not here, so the show must go on. So, with that being said, we're going to get right into it. Coming in at number 15 is a sneaker that was one of my personal favorites i was really hyped when i seen that this sneaker was releasing they had the uh early photos of this sneaker i really had to have it i was able to pick this sneaker up for retail shout out to uh my local boutique sneaker politics down in uh new orleans louisiana down in that french quarter I picked this sneaker up and the sneaker that I'm talking about is none other than the Air Max 1 Clear J. Yes, guys, I really wanted this sneaker. Nice colors, bright colors. You know I'm about that summer life. And the leather and materials on here were really good in my opinion. The Air Max 1 Clear J oh, still smells new. I love these. These was a great pickup for me. And there's nothing better than a retail cop than a pair that you can get on sale. But for number 15 on the countdown this year is the Air Max 1 Clear J. Coming in at number 14 on this year's countdown, uh, this sneaker, uh, I actually got this sneaker on my birthday. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting in the passenger seat because, you know, my birthday, I like to get treated like the king that I am and uh it was around 9 a.m when we were leaving out to go eat breakfast and I saw uh the notification from uh the sneakers app and I was like let me shoot my shot and get this sneaker uh the sneaker is one of the current NBA's biggest stars his name is always in the GOAT debate uh and it's a collab with an HBCU. We're just going to bring it out. This is the Nike LeBron 7, the fam you pair in the guards green. There were two different colorways of this sneaker that released. There was a black pair and there were these, the guards green, George green. Not sure how everyone pronounces it, but these are really clean. Very nice sneaker, different. That uh, new buck on here, pretty clean, guys. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Number 14, the Nike LeBron 7 Fam U in the gorgeous green colorway. Coming in at number 13 on this year's countdown is a sneaker. It's another NBA star currently. Uh, he's kind of disgruntled. This was the latest news on this guy because the team's actually on this, losing a lot of games. And uh, this sneaker recently came out in the month of December. It is a retro of a sneaker that we received back in 2010, I believe. I do have a video posted on this sneaker that released recently. This sneaker is a holiday themed sneaker. And the sneaker that I'm talking about, guys, is the Nike Zoom KD3 Christmas. Yes, this was a must-have for me. I really wanted this sneaker. Uh, I love the bright, vibrant yellow. You have that photo blue on here, the fly wire. 
uh, do size up in these. These run small, but this was a good pickup for me. Got these at retail as well. Every sneaker I've shown you thus far, I've got for retail. So this was really a good sneaker. Uh, I know the sneaker community doesn't rock with basketball sneakers that well anymore. But lo and behold, I have two of them that made my countdown for 2023, guys. So we have the Nike Zoom KD3 Christmas. Coming in at number 12, guys, uh, it's a sneaker that released earlier this year. Uh, the colorway is a very hype colorway. I thought the sneaker would have been very, very hype, but it wasn't, so no problem. I still like the sneaker. It was some really good materials on this sneaker, just like a, another sneaker that released last year in 2022 of this silhouette, just a different colorway. I'm talking about nothing other than the Air Jordan 1 UNC toe. These were uh, a no-brainer for me. Uh, had to have them. Got them for retail. Actually was able to double up. Got your puffed out wings logo on here. And the leather is just so soft and tumble and wrinkled. I really did get a great pair. Uh, no factory flaws pretty much on these. Had to have them. Could never have enough Carolina Blue uh, Jordan sneakers. So here we go, guys. Coming in at number 12, the Air Jordan Retro 1 UNC 2. Coming in at number 11, guys, the sneaker. Uh, this silhouette this year, we got a lot of great sneakers from this silhouette this year. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think. When was the first pair that dropped this year i can't exactly remember but uh we had a lot of heat from this silhouette uh but this collab is from a uh i think he was a skateboarder in japan i believe i uh do have a video up with this sneaker but uh it's a good sneaker probably won't make a lot of people count down or maybe higher I just gave you a sneak peek. I'm talking about none other than Nike SB Don't Glow Yuto Horogome. Yeah, Yuto Horogome. This was a pretty good SB Dunk. Nice and clean. You know, kind of give you a Neapolitan vibe with the pink and the chocolate on the back right here. You have Yuto's logo right here on the lateral heel. And of course, you can't go wrong with an SB pretty much. So. This is the number 11 sneaker on my account down the Nike SB Dunk Low Uto Oregonman. And that pretty much wraps it up for the countdown on today. We did numbers 15 through 11. So please tune in tomorrow as we do 10 through 6 on the countdown, guys. Let me know what your sneakers is, your thoughts on the sneakers that are revealed thus far, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end the video right there. But like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.